I was just sitting there listening to Kirk talk and Bubba talk. And I've been grinning like I'm opening up a Hampton Inn. I just, I'm telling you, it's just so exciting. I had a chance to meet Mr. Bryant just now when we were talking, and some of what he said is part of what's got me so excited. Um, you know, hearing him talk about the project that he had with kids uh, that were at risk kids and having them do photographs, and he'll tell it much better than me. I won't do that. But like Kirk said, it's exciting because this wasn't an easy bet when this started with Tim and Bubba 17 years ago. This was vision. And when you think about all of the things that have happened in Chatham, uh, Chair Howard and I were lucky enough to come halfway through this and uh, definitely Mayor Perry and I was glad to have her back. But it, it still wasn't even an easy sale then. You didn't know where we were going, what was gonna happen. And a lot of the people that you're looking at right now had a vision and a belief and a commitment get us where we are today. And so now it's going to be an easy sale. The only thing I feel bad about, Mr. Bryan, is you're going to have to figure out uh, where to locate another hotel because this one's going to be full all the time. So, uh, yeah, we, we've got to get you to work on that. And, <laughs> but it really is, when you think about those of us who grew up here and you think about what Pittsburgh used to be and you look at where we are now and where we've got the ability to be once Siler lands something at the campsite, it's just fascinating to think about it. And the biggest thing I'm happy about is we did it the right way. There isn't a lot of sprawling growth where you just see something pop up over here, something pop up over there. This was a plan, and this has been put together and it's spread correctly, we've worked it correctly, we've got some of our town officials here who knew about things we had to do to fix incoming traffic for Pittsburgh. We've got our commissioners who talked about getting us an ag center so that when people do come here for events, they can stay at your place and then they can go right over here to ag center and have the events. So again, this stuff matters. And I'm excited that we're doing it. I'm excited that we've been involved. I'm excited about the fact that this is, you know, one of many of these types of events that we're gonna have over the next three or four years. But getting the first of anything is always important. And we can't tell you how thankful we are to have the Hampton Inn and your family and a great brand here in Pittsburgh to really set things up for us. We've got two of our finest from our Central Carolina Community College campus and Dr. Chapman and Dr. Hall. I think Dr. Hall works in several different places, but I'm gonna give you <laughs> CTCC. But we were just talking, I met with Dr. Chapman earlier about some expansion that we're doing for Central Carolina Community College. And again, it's because of the growth that we've got that started with the vision with Chatham Park. So Tim and Bubba, thank you. Kurt, thank you for your vision with Mosaic. Thank you to our officials again, Mayor Perry, Chair Howard, in the sense of pulling the trigger when it wasn't always popular, but knowing what we needed to do to invest in this community so that we can keep the dollars here. Because ultimately, one last thing I will say, when I started 14, our biggest concern was 60% of our dollars were leaving the county. We couldn't keep money in the county. We couldn't keep workers in the county because we didn't have the jobs. We couldn't keep the dollars in because they had nowhere to go and nowhere to spend it. And now we've got that here. And then you add to that a superstar school system that we've got, thanks to people like Ms. Turner right here from our Board of Education and Dr. Jackson, who we have. Just think of where we're going to be in 10 years. 10 years from now, this won't be one of many announcements. 10 years from now, we're going to have to start fighting people off to keep them out of here and say, hey, we're just trying to keep the community as it is. We appreciate you guys wanting to bring this other billion, but we got a billion sitting over here right now. So just give us a second. Y'all looking forward to that problem, right? <laughs> <laughs> but thank all of you for all of your vision, all of your hard work, for being here today. Let's keep this going. Let's keep the communication going. And let's keep remembering what we can do when we work together. Thank you.